I'm Jeremy Lafredo um, with Grey Zone News uh, here in Paris, France, where there's protesters opposing Emmanuel Macron's neoliberal economic policies. And they're here um, striking on behalf of, stri uh, protesting on behalf of striking union workers. Um, they just had the protesters surrounded, but it seems like they might be um, leaving. I can't tell exactly what's happening. Um, now they're forming another line here. It's mostly um, youth here, not the union workers, but they're here supporting the union workers and the strikers and opposing Emmanuel Macron, who made a statement today, um, tonight, um, trying to um, calm the nerves of the people who have become very angry about his economic policy. What's happening right now? Uh, all the en français, in French, no, in, les, English. in English, all the policemen are going uh, going to uh, block all the area because they don't want that uh, the protester continue to uh, to move with uh, this situation, and they want them to uh, to block and to uh, go home. And all the protesters are going out tonight because uh, the French president Emmanuel Macron talked today at 8 p.m. And now they all on the streets because they they want uh, the end of this project of law to uh, of the retirement age. Do you think the protesters are going to go home like the police want them to? No, I think he's going to he's going to continue uh, like a few hours because uh, now the, there's just a few hundred of people right now on this area, but there's a few thousand of people continue to to go out on the street of Paris. So there's another process right now in the uh, Republic. So all the, the policemen wants to, uh, these people continue to Republic because like this they can block everybody in the, at the same time. They don't want them to go to the other protests elsewhere in the city. No, they don't want to because otherwise uh, there's going to be a big protest with a, a big population. And now they just want them to uh, go out and to, to they want to some little protest. This guy is uh, getting pushed by the police. Uh, seems like we're getting enclosed here, myself included. There's um, two cops pushing a man and a woman. And now I'm getting pushed very badly. I just got pushed um, by the cops, by the shields of the policemen. And they're pushing this back and back and back so as we just heard from someone who lives here in Paris the police don't want these protesters to join the other protesters that are on the other side of the city so they're trying to keep them here and force them to go home and not in the direction of the other protest So they formed an entire wall here 
Um, you could see some paint that was thrown on this guy's shield. Um, they're pointing this way. They want us to go this way. For those just joining us, um, we're in Paris, France, at a youth protest um, to support striking workers against Emmanuel Macron's neoliberal economic policies. And um, it seems like now that I'm on this side, we have no choice but to march this way. So we're going this way. There's, there's no way to go that way. This guy has a, a guitar. What are they chanting right now? Uh, block and my uh, protests, but illegal protests. So they are singing about the illegal protests. They are saying that we want illegal protests. Like right now. They're saying we want an illegal protest right now. Yeah, because this is an illegal protest. So they are singing, we are in an illegal protest and we like it. So they were just chanting, this is an illegal protest and we like it in, in French, obviously. Um, we're, we have banging of pots and pans and people are wearing coronavirus masks, not because they're afraid of the virus, but they're afraid of surveillance cameras in and around Paris, France, catching them and the police identifying them. Um, they're not afraid of COVID. And what are they chanting now? Everybody hate the cops. They're chanting that everybody hates the cops. We have garbage cans and um, new Lime scooters that are in everyone's city. It's ugly and annoying. They're pushed over in the street. We have some construction stuff pushed over in the street. We have a person up here. They're uh, looking out the window, just seeing what's going on. They have lots of songs. They're always singing. What are they, what are they singing? Uh, Emmanuel Macron is doing to us a war, and he's a cop too. That's what they are singing. And now they are singing Paris, get up and get up. Get up, stand up. They're saying um, in French that Emmanuel Macron um, is waging a war against them, so they're waging one back, and that all of Paris should stand up. And we have people here. This is the classic scene here during the protest. People just calmly drinking and eating dinner. People are looking out their windows. People are running to the front. Normally these people are the ones um, who are lighting things on fire or dumping trash cans out, um, smashing things, that, that sort of civil disobedience tactic. So right now, um, we're taking some narrow streets in Paris, hoping to navigate to the other larger protests that the cops were blocking the road um, so they couldn't get to them. But there's, there's um, tonight, there's 280 of these protests all over France. 
and there's a handful right here in Paris, and it would be the police's worst nightmare if all the protests in France um, found each other and created one larger protest. The, the main tactic of the police is to divide everyone up on the, uh, in different streets in different parts of Paris. So we've gotten to an intersection and there's really no leader. So sometimes there's confusion and disorganization on which way um, they should go. Like right now we have some people going straight, some people going to the left. Um, it's not very um, organized. So they're, they're looking for the, the other group of protesters right now? Yeah, they are searching for the other group of protesters because there are just a hundred people and they want that a, a few thousand going on because this is more difficult for the cops to arrest everybody. And now if there are just a few hundred, they can be arrested, they can, be, uh, they can have some uh, fine. So that's why they are searching for other group of protests. So you heard it from uh, Ilian, is his name. Um, he explained that these protesters know that it's less likely that they'll get fined and arrested if they have a bigger group. So they want to find the other groups of protesters um, as fast as possible because wandering the streets like this um, will get them in a lot of trouble. As you saw earlier in the video where the French militized police were just hitting indiscriminately, myself included, and I have a press badge, vis uh, visu uh, visual, like you, you can see it right on my arm and my chest. They're opening up this construction fence to block the road. And there's some Parisians who are just, you know, they're just driving their bike and they get caught in the middle of this. But it seems that everyone 
is supportive of the protests, um, excluding the police, obviously, but there are people banging pots and pans out of their windows. Um, there are people coming out of their apartments and just um, spontaneously joining the protest. I hear something banging and smashing. And we started a fire here. And we're kicking. There's a woman at a, a Poke Bowl place. She's cheering. She's happy to see the protesters. Um, Macron's policies here um, are only supported by um, very wealthy, very rich people. Um, small business owners here in Paris um, oppose uh, Macron's economic policies, 85% of them. And um, the, latest, um, the latest retirement age uh, hike uh, was passed without... Um, the, a vote from his parliament without the banging. There's a lot of people looking out their windows. One of the few um, Ukraine flags here in downtown Paris. They're not as um, not as frequent as New York City or anywhere in America, but they are here. Um, France did give 1.3 billion dollars in aid money to Ukraine while cutting social services here at home, and that's not something that uh, the working people here and the youth like because the youth know that they have to grow up here and you see something spray painted everywhere you see i don't want to die at work i don't want to die at work um, it's spray painted everywhere it's a rallying cry of this political movement that's made up of both um, the youth and um, union workers People beep um, in support of the um, demonstrations. So we just uh, emptied out um, some garbage. And um, I don't like to point the camera at the people who are dumping out of the trash and committing acts of civil disobedience because they will get very angry. Um, they don't want their identity to be known. They don't want anybody to know who they are because they fear retribution from the government. So we'll hear it, but we won't see it. Why do the protesters think that, um, you know, these dumping the trash cans, lighting the fire, civil disobedience is, is justified right now? Sorry, I don't understand it. I don't understand your question. Can you repeat? 
why do the protesters do this? Uh, why they are doing all of this? Yeah. They are doing this because if the police are coming right now, they can't uh, continue uh, this way. They are obligated to uh, get out of the car and to uh, retire out of this to continue the their way. So that's why they are doing some something like this and other the burning some uh, some bin to uh, stop the the police. So dumping the trash in the street and putting the fences in the street it's not just an act of civil disobedience it's a strategic move by the protesters so the police will have to um, stop their cars and um, clean up everything in order to um, chase the protesters and effectively arrest them or beat them or um, stop them from protesting so we see fences um, we see concrete blocks um, sometimes we'll see full um, we'll see full uh, trash bins in the middle of the street. It's uh, it's a strategic move by the protesters to stop the police from chasing them. We have that happening over here. So we have some bartenders here, just looking out the window. Um, sort of a nightly occurrence for them that the demonstrations will pass by the restaurant. We have From my experience, they don't normally march very long without the police locating them. Um, we have a motorcycle here um, that's burnt and tipped over, um, but no more than 10 or 15 minutes do they normally wander the streets before the police find out where they are. So we have a, a trash bin on fire here. It was just set on fire. Um, and now the police will have to either put out the fire or push it to the side um, in order to chase the protesters. We have casual diners. You'll see things like trash on fire or um, city bikes, but I haven't experienced the protesters destroying any type of, of small business, um, only um, banks and Starbucks and McDonald's. We have more trash on fire here because they see Starbucks and McDonald's and banks as a um, aspect of uh, neoliberal capitalism and Emmanuel Macron's economic policies. We have another fire here. Some type of horn.
And again, we have um, fires and burnt motorbikes next to me and just people casually dining. Just give me a thumbs up. Uh, I don't know what that means. A homeless man just turned on his headlamp to see what um, woke him up, and it was the the demonstrations. Where do, you th where do you think they're going? Oh, I think they're going to the Hotel de Ville, the, the place we, we were next time, uh, before. I think they're going there. And what is the significance of Hotel de Ville? Oh, this is uh, the first may mayor in Paris, mayor center in the uh, mayor office in Paris. But there's 20 mayor's office in Paris, and this one is the, the first one for the big mayor of Paris. So that's why they are going there. So we're walking to a city center area. Um, we've been there a few times. It's um, the mayor's office in Paris. And it's draped in Ukraine flags and French flags and European Union flags. Um, from what I've been told, demonstrations in that area are actually allowed, but they don't stay there very long and the protesters are barely are rarely following um the actual law considering they um light things on fire and whatnot so the police do enter there often but just congregating there is normally um allowed and that's where we're walking right now They're banging pots and pans and chanting, uh, protest, resist. They're actually chanting um, a cab, all cops are bastards. But in French, it sounds like they're saying a caba or something to that effect. Um, they do know that protest chant, uh, one that's very popular in the States. And I spoke to several protesters who do understand that um, their, their problem isn't with the policemen. Their problem is with Macron and um, the government. Not even the government, because most of the government voted against Emmanuel Macron's economic reforms. Um, they have a problem with the policies of Emmanuel Macron and uh, they wish the police who also have to uh, live in the city and um, engage in the pension system that is being you know, taken away and their retirement age is being hiked up. Um, they understand that the police um, are just the foot soldiers of the Macron government, which is, um, we've got another fire here. This guy's warming his hand. It smells very bad. I'm, I've inhaled lots of burnt plastic over the last few days. And um, that's definitely a carcinogen. But they also have glyphosate banned here. So at least I'm not getting both. We're putting the fire out. Good Samaritan. More people casually dining as people are placing their order. I 
don't know if you can see, but there's more than a few hundred people here, and it's just one of the few smaller protests happening in Paris right now. They would all be together if not for um, the police. They were all together in the very beginning, but the police um, tried their best to break him up. They used tear gas. They used their shields. Um, and that was no match for the demonstrators, most of whom are not wearing a mask or a helmet. Just looks like they came back from uh, school. Um, some of the journalists are, in fact, wearing helmets. I'm wearing a helmet. Uh, I think it's a child's helmet. It's too small on me, but it's better than nothing. Traffic has stopped. I just dumped over this big thing that you recycle into, and it takes up the entire width of the street. So no cars passing through this. What is what is what is this song that they're singing? Uh, Emmanuel Macron. We are going to. Broken everything in uh, at your home, so here in France. The song, it sounds better sung in, in French, but in English it says Emmanuel Macron, we're going to break everything in your home, meaning in Paris. We have a hit bar um, and a guy in a blazer who's just watching. And we have another fire here. It looks like a, a pretty big one. There's no police driving um, on this road. So that's a mattress for those um, new to the chat these fires in the middle of the street are not just acts of civil disobedience um, the protesters see it as strategic to block these narrow roads that they're going down so the police can't follow them It might seem that um, the intensity of a protest like this does in fact require a police response, but I will say during the day, there are protests with union workers and um, the electrical union, uh, the bus drivers union, and they will garner thousands of people and it will be peaceful. And then the riot police will show up and then it's not peaceful anymore. So um, you don't have to be committing acts of civil disobedience for these French militarized police to come after you in large numbers and beat you up. You could just be marching and um, advocating a certain type of politics. made 
roadblocks? So we normally have during the day and evening um, the striking workers and the older people who oppose Macron's economic policies that come at the detriment of them. And at night, we have the younger people who are politically aware, and they also oppose Emmanuel Macron from the left, and they say that they don't want to die at work, and they want to live in a world, in a country, that has a strong social safety net. And many of the protesters will explain sports, sex, eating, family, love, these are all types of things that we want to do when we're done at work, when we retire. When we retire is when we really begin to live. And that's what they say, and that's their reason for taking to the streets. So it's a little bit of a walk because of all the roadblocks the police have set up um, to get to where the other protests are. Um, and it seems the protesters have, you know, they're setting up their own roadblocks. Um, less violently, still messy. I hear chanting in the distance. These restaurant workers are seeing what all the fuss is about. The protesters like to stick to these narrow, charming, I must say, back roads um, because the big ones have more cameras and more traffic and more people to, you know, rat on them and police to see them. So they try to stick to the back roads as much as possible on their way to a place. And there's another fire, a big one. This is a, this is a roadblock, so the police can't follow the protesters. In the distance, I can see a main road. So I think we're almost there. The protesters. In the distance, I can see a main road. So I think we're almost there. The protesters' destination. There's guys on mopeds here trying to pass by. I don't, I don't, I don't speak French. 
it's been happening um, on a minute by minute basis. I'm asked something in French. I say I don't speak French, and um, then they go away. More trash here. What do you think um, the protesters' um, main problem is with Emmanuel Macron's economic policies, um, other than the um, the retirement age hike? Uh, I think that, like every year, there's uh, some problems. Like, uh, for example, two or three years ago, there was the protests of, because of the gilets jaunes, because of the uh, augmentation of uh, the the gasol. So right now, all the people are saying that everything is going to be more expensive in France. And it's going on, for example, for the gasol and for other projects like uh, the water. So ga gasoline. They're yeah, afraid that gasoline, gasoline is going to get really expensive. Yeah, the, the gasoline and the, the water also. So, for example, in Paris, the water was uh, free. But now you have to pay a few euros. To, to have the, the water in all, the, in all Paris. So there's going to be some more, um, more money who is going to, to be given by all these people. So that's why they are going to protest, I think, for a few months again. So you heard that from um, a local. Um, not only is the retirement age hike angering the people of France, but also water used to be public. It used to be um, free for everyone. And now it costs money. It costs money. Um, so not only does the water cost money now, gasoline prices are going up. You can make your own decisions um, what is leading to that. But um, it's not just the retirement age hike. We're privatizing public utilities like water here in France. And uh, it's leading to working people having to pay money for things that were free. And um, the people and the youth as well are upset about that. I wonder what would um, happen in France if you told everyone that they now had to pay $400 a month in healthcare insurance. Health, healthcare is free here. Um, you know, if they were given um, a system like we have in America, I would not want to be here um, for the reaction of the people. And I doubt it would, that system would stay in place very long. It's my opinion. These big things about the size of a car tipped over in the street. This walk is taking so long because they had to take back roads because the police had blocked off the main roads. Um, and the police are actually not from Paris. They had to increase their police presence um, so much that they brought in police officers from outside of Paris. And you can tell because as the police are walking around, they will be looking at Google Maps, sometimes even paper maps, to try to figure out where to go and how to get there because they're not from the city. And that also goes to, um, that goes to show you maybe why they are so um, brutal to the people here and they hit them and they push them and they, um, they treat them with no respect because these are not their streets. These are not their people. They're not even sworn to protect these people. They're, they're from different jurisdictions, the police. And you can tell when they're holding their paper maps or looking at Google Maps um, and looking at the protesters with um, such an empty look in their eyes because 
These are not, um, they're only sent here to quell the protests. That's their only job. And they're not that good at it, I might add. I would turn the camera over there, but it's, it's X-rated. You have people peeing on, a, on the street. This is a, a real estate office, the glass smashed. These turns are always um, surprising. You never know what's on the other side. I hear glass breaking and people yelling, but I can't see anything. stand as you can see the fruit has been spared by the protesters they're not targeting small businesses um, anything uh, that working-class people have a stake in they are targeting banks they're targeting Starbucks they're targeting McDonald's they're targeting some pharmacies um, and they're targeting federal government property but I don't think these mopeds belong to McDonald's and Starbucks, uh, to be honest. Created a full roadblock using construction fences here. You'll always hear the protesters. You always hear the protesters. Um, I can't make out exactly what they're saying, but I hear Macron in in the chants, in the songs. So I know they're constantly um, aiming their frustration at the president, who in America, everyone is under the impression is a liberal. But the youth here oppose him very strongly, as do the working people from the left. It's an important point to make. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before the Atlantic claims that these protesters are infiltrated by the right or some type of alt-right movement, Trumpist movement, MAGA movement, but these are working class kids. These are union workers. These are not your, um, this is not the political right of France. You can see some anarchist flags, some hammer and sickles. Um, so we're on a main road now. I, I would assume that it's only a matter of time before we're met by police. So this is a, a main road in Paris. The, this car is deciding, you know, maybe I won't go that way. I don't blame them.
the Anarchist A next to uh, an ATM. We have this advertisement. Um, the glass is broken. So this is another, um, they would call it a strategic roadblock and the man got out of his car to move it and uh, it's moved. So this demonstration started with a, a few thousand people in the middle of Paris um, at 8 p.m. because 8 p.m. was the time that Emmanuel Macron decided to address the nation and um, in their eyes make excuses for why he has to make these economic reforms. And it started with pots and pans banging. And then once it got big enough, they began to march. And once they began to march, um, they turned a corner and there was about 50 riot police. They got tear gassed um, and they dispersed. And now they are looking for the other group of protesters, and they believe that the other group of protesters is at um, this monument in Paris, the, the city hall, and that's where we're going right now. And once they're there, they will congregate, and they will get bigger and bigger, and they will march again, and then they will get met by police again. And that's how it's it's been the last few days, just a, a game of cat and mouse between the demonstrators um, and the police, whether it's the, the adult um, union workers during the day or the youth at night. And we, ha we have a, a few people up here cheering out their window. All, all three floors of this apartment building, we have people out the window cheering them on. are either beeping saying get it out of the way or they're beeping um, as a show of support. I don't know which one it is, but no one looks like they're shaking their heads. And these people are, are kissing. That's amazing. This is really something. Okay. It, It's just a, this is a bank and they're smashing a, um, a stop sign into it and they made um, a perfect little uh, hole so now people can make deposits easier. It's very nice of them. The, the group is growing. We have people banging pots and pans out of windows, like um, the Lower West Side did for nurses and frontline workers. But these people are doing it for protesters who are um, asking for better economic policy for um, Emmanuel Macron. Same thing, I guess. It, it seems like um, the group got a little bigger just now. Do you think that happened? Oh, uh, yeah, this is bigger because, like, because. Uh, because of Macron talk today. No. 
Oh. I mean bigger just now. Like this. This. Uh, just now. Yeah. Because there's another group came, and there's another group just in front of you is coming. So you heard it from Ilian. Um, so the cops are running at us, and I'm going to run a little bit as well. Um, They're chanting as they run from the police. I believe a, a grenade of some sort, a tear gas grenade went off. It's tear gas. I feel it and I smell it. It's not good. There's a few grenades because you can't even see the police who are in a line um, right beyond, the police are in a line right beyond the tear gas smoke. And um, these are journalists and the police are forming a wall right there. It doesn't even look like they're, they're following. It looks like they're going the other way to, oh no, they're running towards us. Um, here they come. And they're going to bring democracy to the protesters. It's very nice of them. There's a few ones who are slower in the back. They're out of breath. They're clearing off the road. I don't speak French. Stand back. Stand back. He told me to stand back. Um, it seems like they just tell one person to stand back um, to say that they did their job. But, um, like, I don't understand why they would only tell me. Maybe they know that I'm live streaming for Grey Zone News. Camera's gonna get a little shaky for a second. I'm gonna get closer. I wish I could tell you what the police are saying, but I don't speak French. They're running. They're running fast, as fast as they can, with all their democracy gear on. I'm going to run it after them. It looks like there's maybe a thousand protesters at this intersection. And the police just noticed, and they're they're running. I'm running. Crossing a main crossing a main road right now. Um. So the police are right at my back. 
I don't really like that. And so they're they're running with all their democracy gear. We're going to show these protesters what a liberal world order is all about. This guy ran out of breath. The protesters just lit a firework off. If it sounds like I'm out of breath, I'm not. There's someone yelling at the cops through the window. Picking up the tipped over motorcycles, so the police are telling me I can't pass. Uh, maybe I can pass. These roadblocks are all being thrown into this restaurant. It's very nice of them. And the protesters are just much faster on foot than these police. So now we're behind about about 40 militarized riot police who um, just threw a few um, tear gas grenades at the protesters. But the protesters were able to evade the batons and I'm um, breathing in lots of tear gas right now. <sighs> it's really not good in the, the, one second. How's it feel? I feel very bad. <laughs> I, I want to cry. You want to cry? Yeah. Do you like it? No, I don't like it. <laughs> I can understand. This French journalist said he wants to cry. And we're not allowed to pass. At least right now. So these police are walking towards the protesters, but they're not letting us, the journalists, pass the police. God knows why. Um, I'm going to get out of the road. The police just told this journalist not to run. Did, did he tell you not to run? Uh, he told me to not overtake him. To stay behind. The, pol <laughs> the police told this journalist to stay behind him. Um, he said, I don't know why. We, we just uh, do what they say, because if we don't, uh, if we don't do what they say, they are going to beat us and uh, take us to jail. So <laughs> we just listen to them, and doing everything they want. This journalist said, I, I do everything they want, because if I don't, they will take me in and they will beat me. And he's someone who's been covering the protests for a long time. So the cops are taking down this um, roadblock that the protesters have made. They could have just used the sidewalk. There's a fire here. Cops are.
Restez à distance Restez à distance I think they're saying in French, stop. They're making a little human roadblock here so the journalists cannot catch up with the protesters. The chef, the chef is here. He hates Macron. So it looks like the journalists are going this way. Um, the police are coming at me, um, so I'm going to get out of their way. So the police, their response isn't only um, to stop the protesters, but as you just saw, um, they formed an entire wall um, and strategically blocked several sections of the road to block the journalists from reaching the protesters. So it's a two-pronged assault on the people here, on both protesters and um, journalists. So now the media is um, taking the long way. And these people don't know what happened. They're having a beautiful dinner. I lost my friend, my French friend, Ilian. And Ilian is very good at maintaining contact with the protesters. It's only a matter of time before I see him. Okay, I'm going to try to make contact with a few members of the press and a few demonstrators so I can bring you guys the latest from Paris, France, as union workers and young demonstrators protest Emmanuel Macron's neoliberal economic reforms almost every night and almost all night long. So I will check back with you guys in a little while.
Okay, so we just took a subway and um, the protesters are telling the other protesters to be quiet as to not alert the police. Um, but we started here a couple hours ago with Emmanuel Macron's address to the nation where he made excuses for why he had to pass certain economic policies. And the workers and the unions and the students disagree with the policies. And so they held a rally and the rally was broken up by police with tear gas and um, riot batons. And um, then they tried to evade the police by taking some back roads. And then they came in contact with the police again. Um, the, the police chased them. They had to run. And then they were told by other protesters to take the subway to a certain place. And we're here right now. Place de Opera. Um, What's happening right now? Uh, we're uh, going uh, because uh, we're the the policemen are waiting for us upstairs at the the exit of the the subway station. So we we're gonna move to the next station in order to to mess the, them up. So you just heard from one of the the protesters that there's riot police waiting outside of this police station. Um, and they would, you know, arrest everyone. So they're actually taking the subway to the next stop um, as to evade the police. Um, that's what they're doing. Do you think that um, all the protesters will, will uh, be reunited? We never know. We follow the, where the, the, ma the, uh, the majority of... Uh, of people go, and maybe uh, another, um, another uh, other protestators are going, uh, are going to come with us. So we're on the subway now with about 50 demonstrators, um, and we're going to take the subway to the next stop. And you can see how um, disorganized this protest movement is when they aren't with each other. Um, when they're with each other, they march together and they grow by groups of the thousands. But when the police break them up into groups um, this small, it's hard for them to all be reunited. What do you think of the, um, the Emmanuel Macron's economic reforms? Uh, it's uh, simply a catastrophe because he, uh, he the, uh, from the right wing, but the very, very hard one, very harder than uh, Nicolas Sarkozy before him. And uh, he, he won't give up. Uh, he, he doesn't want to, to negotiate with the syndicates. He the uh, com completely death, and uh, the uh, maybe the the the, the, um, the better solution is to to take uh, to take the streets and uh, to make a um, an action that uh, that's paralyzed uh, the economy of the country, uh, uh, strikes, hard strikes in all. Uh, of the of the clouds of the. Do you think the strikes, uh, the worker strikes that are happening in response to Emmanuel Macron's policies, um, are they effective? Do I think that the uh, demonstrations are effective? I think that he it disturbs him, but um, the, um, the, um, the 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 response, uh, the the repression is uh, very tough. And uh, uh, he, uh, he's afraid of a, uh, how do you call it, um, police violence, uh, that a policeman kills someone like uh, Malik Kusukin in uh, 1986. And, uh, if uh, someone, is, uh, uh, there are many, many, uh, many injured uh, young people, because it's, 
it's not uh, the same public uh, as uh, it used to be during the yellow vest protesters. Uh, they are less uh, less violent. M many students, many uh, uh, young from uh, high school, uh, very young. Uh, they they have a, a great motivation, but they're not e extremely violent like uh, the media say. It, uh, so the media um, is unfair. Doesn't treat the protesters well. The media. No, no, no. Yeah, they they depreciate the protesters, even the. The um, uh, channels uh, from the uh, from uh, official media, uh, uh, depending from from the public service like uh, France Info, very very known. It's uh, a non-stop uh, online uh, media, and uh, they they use the the word uh, delinquents, casseurs. Uh, I don't know in English. Uh, people ha who are here yeah, only to in order to. To, in order to deteriorate uh, public uh, public things, uh, uh, vitrines, uh, etc., they uh, they say it's uh, the, 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 um, the 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 extreme f uh, left wing that is uh, leading the, the movement, and uh, that they uh, they want to kill policemen, that they are against. Uh, uh, all form of, all form of uh, authority, and uh, that they want to. That's not true. Not totally. Not totally. Let's let's try to find out where the 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 protesters have gone. Do you guys know where to go? I think like they want to uh, keep um, uh, dispersed, like uh, not together, uh, as like the policemen uh, will go and uh, then catch us. So like nobody is still uh, at Opera, uh, as uh, we heard. But so at the moment, like I think like the only like uh, idea is just to keep like in, in the area, but uh, not exactly together. But, like just staying aware of where to go. So yeah, I don't know at the moment like what uh, what we can do. Okay. So, we started off the night with about 2,000 people in front of Paris City Hall. And they were banging pots and pans, and they were protesting Emmanuel Macron's economic reforms. And um, the police came with batons and shields and dispersed everyone. And then it happened again. And then it happened again for the last time. And they block so many little roads off and so many subway stops off that this is their way of effectively stopping um, some of the groups of protesters is just not um, allowing them to meet up with each other. Um, so you see a group over here, they're figuring out where to go. Um, <laughs> They're looking at their phones. They communicate via Twitter and Telegram like any other groups of kids communicate when the union leaders and when the adults are not um, part of the protest movement, then there's less organization, and that's what we're seeing um, right now. And, you know, there was several, several, several demonstrations of hundreds of people in different parts of Paris, and the goal was for all of them to meet at the same place. And instead of all of them meeting at the same place, the police uh, did what they... Um, they did... Um, they broke everybody up. I don't know how to, how to say it. I'm looking at this map to try to figure it out. <laughs> Do you know where to go for the manifestation? What? Do you know where to go? No, we were waiting for people to, to, come, uh, to come over because uh, uh, apparently people were arrested uh, at the, the exit of the, the subway station uh, uh, the, uh, before the, at, at Opera and uh, we're waiting for people to come. Uh, uh, 
people uh, were waiting uh, on the in the subway the to to let pass. Many. When when the, when the police arrest people, yeah. is it because um, those people? Um, have done something illegal or are they just grabbing any demonstrator that they can get? Uh, their priori priority is uh, to, to arrest people uh, uh, that have committed uh, exactions. And uh, sometimes when they, uh, when they uh, run uh, over us, when they attack us, uh, they, uh, they're, uh, they're hitting uh, everybody that is uh, on their, uh, on their, uh, on the on their way, the the unfortunate. So they hit people that didn't even do anything wrong. Yeah, right. And uh, in, <laughs> when, when they see people running in their uh, in their mind, it's because uh, uh, those people uh, are uh, have done uh, have done something illegal. So uh, they they run and uh, whether they arrest uh, if they can. But um, I, I've seen that it's different from the, um, the 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 protestation that are officials in the, the during the day, where they, uh, they 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 bust many people, whereas uh, on the night and the the, the the spontaneous demonstration, uh, I have the the great impression that they. Uh, oh, they uh, just want to us to to move away. They uh, they they launch uh, grenade, uh, grenades uh, with uh, gases, uh, lacrimogenes. They uh, they hit with their uh, with their sticks. But uh, I, I I've I've not seen many. Are th are those protesters coming behind us? Yeah, all the protesters are, uh, are going to come. So is that how it works? You just they just find each other by yelling, and then they they group up, and then they yeah. yeah sometimes the the social media on the, on the internet. Sometimes that the uh... see. Here they call they call the demonstration and the the protest manifestation, which is new to me. But they they're constantly saying manifestation. Um, so we're seeing here that there's more protesters coming down the street. There's a whole glob of them, probably 50 or 100, and they all, um, they're all from the student left, and um, they support the strikes and oppose Emmanuel Macron's neoliberal economic reforms. Um, so they're going to come. So they found each other. If you're watching the stream and you speak French, you probably have a better idea of what's going on than I do, even though I'm I'm here. So, so we just created a little roadblock. So we're creating more roadblocks here. And if you were watching the stream earlier, these aren't just um, you know acts of civil disobedience. These are effectively strategic um, actions that will stop the police from coming down the street at least as fast as they would if there was no there was nothing. We 
just created a trash roadblock. I put on my helmet. They're saying go this way because the cops are coming. And um, I can hear the sirens. So they're saying shh. They're, they're shushing each other. <laughs> We're being quiet because the cops are coming. Put in more roadblock. Continue to draw, retournez pas sur les pas là. So, just like before, when it was stopped by riot police and tear gas, they will do this and hopefully find another group of protesters and then another group of protesters. And then they will go to... I was just told to put my camera down. Are more these are homemade roadblocks. I was told to keep my camera down. They're very serious about not being identified and being out some trash cans. Doesn't look like we're burning them like we were before. When I say we, I mean them. <laughs> Looks like they are tipping over these giant it's a giant um recycling container about the size of a car and it was um tipped over into the middle of the street uh, that's down this narrow, quaint um, street in Paris, and they're looking for more demonstrators. This is the night that Emmanuel Macron made his speech, his first public speech to the country, um, explained to them that he had to make these neoliberal economic reforms. 
he had to um, raise the retirement age. He had to cut some of the pensions. Um, and he has to force the striking workers to go back to work. These are all things that he said he has to do. Um, and even though that his entire parliament disagrees with him and did not side with him, um, Emmanuel Macron went a different way and he didn't even um, have to get everyone's vote. Looks like something's happening. As I was saying, it's not only these economic policies that are angering the working people and the youth of France. It's also the way that they're being implemented. They're being implemented in a way that's very anti-democratic. We're finding loopholes in the French, French constitution that will allow Emmanuel Macron to make these economic reforms without the consent of the people, without voting on it. I'm saying go this way. And if you're watching the um, stream earlier, you could see that people all over Paris were banging their pots and pans and cheering out of their windows. This is a very popular movement. This is not just the left. This is not just the workers. This is not just the students. This is most regular people in France support these protesters because the protesters support um, democratic economic reforms and a strong um, social safety system. I'm going to run because they're running.
So more of the protesters have found each other after being um, split up by riot police and tear gas, and they're creating roadblocks behind them, putting a fence up right there. and they will create roadblocks behind them until they find their fellow demonstrators. They're pulling this thing off, taking out those trash cans. Guys, just having a smoke outside the restaurant. So these demonstrators are taking these, um, not really back roads anymore, but smaller roads in downtown Paris in order to get to their fellow demonstrators. And they can't take the main roads because the main roads have been blocked by um, riot police. And I can smell um, tear gas in the air. Um, right now, so it must be close to a larger demonstration. And while in public uh, civil disobedience like this, you might argue that this warrants um, some sort of police response. Um, I will say yesterday there was a union march, um, the biggest union in, in France, 640,000 people in the union. They held a march in Paris, very peaceful. Everybody was singing and waving flags and wearing their union vests. And um, it got bigger and bigger and bigger and they turned a corner and there was dozens of these militarized riot police, national police, banging their batons, tapping their batons on their shin guards, um, really um, intimidating. And there ended up being a clash. And that clash would have never happened um, if 
the police just let the protesters um, demonstrate peacefully, but that was not the case. And a lot of these protesters tell me that they um, they believe their um, civil disobedience and violence is justified because these economic policies, privatizing the water, um, taking away people's pensions, making them retire later, um, is violent in itself. And they, they say that um, the unions and the workers um, and left politicians had organized meetings with Macron and they were unfruitful and then nothing ended up happening with those meetings. So now I have to do something else for me. The, the, the chant, what are, what are they chanting? Um, it's, uh, I think it's uh, uh, an Italian uh, slogan. Siamo tutti antifascisti. We are, we all are antifascists. As I was saying before, the organized civil meetings between the unions and between um, left-wing politicians here um, and the government, they were unfruitful. They didn't agree on anything and the government didn't back any of their demands. So now we have striking workers and protesting um, young people um, who say that this is the only way that the government will listen to us. and. Um, that's their argument. It's only a matter of time before the police find these people. And you will see it here, the gray zone. The guy uh, just told his friends who told the rest of the protesters that the police are on the other street and that they should turn this way. have in our city on scooters. Kaaba, which you hear often, um, it sounds like a word, um, but it's actually a cab. All cops are bastards. They have that here, but it's um, it sounds a little different in French. Please 
bikes that they're pushing over are um, owned by Uber. I've seen them attack um, McDonald's and Starbucks and banks and Uber bikes, all things that they say are giant conglomerates and corporations that represent the neoliberal capitalist policies of Emmanuel Macron. So this is some type of container, there's definitely a room inside, and that has just been tipped over to the street as a, as a roadblock. We have all these trash cans, also roadblocks. The police, they're in a car, they haven't stopped the car. They're running and There's this guy in the front wearing a guest brand shirt, has a giant um, triangle on it. He seems to be leading them towards um, another group of protesters where they will join and make the chances of uh, riot police and clashes more likely.
to the police. They are going in reverse after the protesters. These two got out of the car, but they are not in any type of ride gear and they're horribly outnumbered. There's a hundred or so protesters and um, two police officers, but they're speaking on their, their walkie talkies probably calling for more help. I'm gonna go ahead with the protesters and leave the cops in my dust because I don't wanna get separated from them again. Um, if you were on the stream, you saw that they um, used a strategy to separate journalists from the protesters um, because the journalists were live streaming. Um, the journalists who are live streaming um, can help other protesters um, find each other and communicate. So they don't want that. So people are running. So I'm going to run for you guys. The police are not far behind us, um, but they, there was only one police van, so the protesters feel emboldened to continue to create these roadblocks. You gotta be careful. It seems like they have come out victorious and evaded the police, but I'm sure that they just um, walkie talkie their buddies and it's only going to get worse from here in terms of interactions with law enforcement. So we're just at the top of the street waiting for triangle shirt guy to give everyone direction. Um, they seem like they're still creating roadblocks down the street. Do you guys speak English? Yeah. What do you think about all this?
call the guy with the whistle. In terms of the union and worker protests, they really only happen during the day um, on weekdays because they want to miss work. They want to strike. Um, and at night, like many other protest movements, that's when the youth comes out. Um, in a report, a video report that you'll be seeing on the gray zone, you'll see that I spoke to some high school kids who were politically aware enough that they blockaded their entire school, um, all the doors, all the entrance to the school, they blockaded the school um, in protest to Emmanuel Macron's cuts to education. Um, meanwhile, he's um, given Ukraine um, 1.3 billion, with the B, dollars in cutting education and privatizing water and raising the retirement age. Um, so these are the concerns. Um, I was told just now by a group of people who did not look happy um, said, um, I don't, I don't speak French. Oh, I don't have any cash. I'm sorry. There's the police. Um, they're looking, they're looking down the street, but they don't have enough officers to actually come out and contain this 50 or 100 people that are um, on the street right now, um, throwing garbage cans and creating roadblocks. So I don't know what their plan is. Okay, here's the rest of the demonstrators coming up the hill. It seems that some of them are communicating with um, protesters that are um, larger in size in other parts of the city and they're figuring out um, where exactly to meet.
it would be hard to argue that these protests are um, organized by any particular nefarious, powerful group because they are so um, disorganized. Um, but everyone has the same complaints with the government. Do you know where to go? No. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.